Speaking about calling things by certain names, my name's Daniel, and my last name is Siddiqui. So this first no episode way. for us was a roller coaster. Yeah. Daniel Siddiqui had enough pentobarbital in his body to kill a horse. Yeah, you guys died. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah not 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 a great way to start the night. To be we honest. died together. Well, the good thing is. I have nothing to do with your deaths. I had <laughs> solving your deaths. You know, originally the character's name was David, and I think it was the day before shooting, they came up and they had the brilliant idea of changing the name because of Clarence's. They couldn't get David, so they changed it to Daniel and realizing it's not David. It's <laughs> so if you see during the pilot, both of us go, uh, and the victim was Daniel Siddiqui. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what happens. Hey, Aiden, how you doing? Not bad. How you guys doing? We are doing so well. Uh, we're so delighted to be talking with you today. And it's it's so great to have a show like Law & Order actually taking place in Canada and especially Toronto for us. So that's uh, it's pretty amazing. Well, yeah. You know, when they called it that, you know, Law & Order Toronto Criminal Intent, they figured they better shoot it here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's uh what's great too about speaking about calling things by certain names. My name's Daniel and my last name is Siddiqui. So this first no episode way. for us was a roller coaster. Yeah. Daniel Siddiqui had enough pentobarbital in his body to kill a horse. Wow. You know, originally the character's name was David. So uh, oh. it was Siddiqui either, but what happened was a lot of the actors had learned, you know, their text and, and especially Kathleen and I, and I think it was the day before shooting, they came up and they had the brilliant idea of changing the name because of Clarence's, they couldn't get David. So they changed it to Daniel instead of changing it to Mark, you know, which would be easy to say, as opposed to getting halfway through the name and realizing it's not David. <laughs> so if you see during the pilot, both of us go, uh, and the victim was dead, and you know, Sadiq. <laughs> that's, that's that's what happens. That explains all the emails that we got asking us to clear our name. It's we weren't true. sure why they were still telling us this. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it, not just curious. Was any of this based on us? I mean, I, we're from Toronto, so we're wondering, like, is that what you guys are doing? And then why did you? Like, why'd you kill us off? <laughs> well, there was only one of you at the, you know, in our show. So it is slightly ripped from the headlines. <laughs> right, right. But that's uh, amazing. No, I'll let I'll let my partner know that you're alive and wells, both of you. That's yeah, true. We come back. Yeah. No <laughs> cryptocurrency for us. No. You know, we're we're <laughs> we, we were so curious about like the authenticity of this show and you really wanting to show off Toronto. So so for yourself, you know, what was so important about making sure Toronto was shown in the best way? And, and what was something that you wanted to really see shown about Toronto on the screen? Well, I think, you know, look, undeniably, the show opens on a yacht on the, you know, on the lake, looking at one of the most beautiful cities in the world, you know, for many, many reasons. I mean, you know, I'm a little biased in the fact that I was born here and grew up here, you know, for, for a short period of my life. And, um, but coming back here, you know, um, I'm just so proud to bring a, you know, like a legacy franchise like Law and Order back here and to to showcase, you know, what is a incredibly mature and complex m metropolis and and in, in where we, you know, we we find ourselves as homicide detectives, you know, lurking in the dark to uh, you know, investigate you know, the 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 horrors that some people do to each other, you know, and um I think uh, the writers took uh, every opportunity they could to really showcase the city as a whole, all the satellite areas in, in, this, in the city and, and what have you. And I think that anyone watching is going gonna, is gonna, to uh, see their, their own backyard and these stories playing out in their own neighborhoods. And I, I think it's going to you know, really intrigue an audience. You know, I find it riveting just apart from the story itself. Absolutely. Definitely. And and that's what's so cool about like seeing for us seeing like these familiar locations for you. Like, obviously, this is an iconic show. What was your prep like going into this? Like, were you listening to true crime podcasts? Were you trying to get into the mindset of Some what, Drake. you know, <laughs> Some Drake as well too. Yeah, how do yeah. you prep for the role? Uh, well, you know, I was uh, oddly enough at the time that I got the phone call, I was working on uh, film restoration. 
and uh, you know, frame by frame, going through and making sure every little speck and every you know uh, aberration was taken out, you know, of the digital scan of of these old films uh, from around the world. And uh, one of the things that I would do is listen to podcasts, true crime podcasts. So I'd actually been doing this for about four or five months, and unwittingly researching so many crimes you know um and, and so many different procedures of how they're investigated and how they're they're um prosecuted and so forth and, you know i've had the opportunity to play um two previous uh homicide detectives one from the united states which is great because you can just take out your gun and you know bully them <laughs> so you know telling you they did it um one uh, in australia which was not so bullish actually because you know, in, in Australian law, you can't even suggest that that person was at the crime scene. You have to say somebody matching your description of a male gender was yeah. um, considered to be in a locale similar to where the crime took place to such a degree wow. that, you know, the criminal could just he, just shut up <laughs> and, you know, they'd never get prosecuted. I don't know why anyone in Australia gets, you know, prosecuted for uh, homicide. <laughs> it seems impossible, but somehow they managed to do it. Um, and so the laws are very different from jurisdiction to well, from country to country. And uh, so, so coming here, that was what intrigued me the most was was how was the Canadian legal uh, situation in terms of the procedure and investigation and, and in, in prosecution. Definitely. And, um, now, I think we we managed to to cover quite a lot of it. It is called law and order, after all. Of course, so we wanted to get some of that. <laughs> Absolutely, and you know we're so excited for more people to get a chance to now watch the show and see that presentation that you've been able to do. And again, of course, the fact that it is a law and order show so that's huge for the city. So, Aiden, thank you so much for joining us, and we hope we can talk to you again very soon. And no more killing us in the future, if that's okay. Well, I, I'm very sorry for the both of you. <laughs> we did find your killer. After all, that's that's true, though. You did. Man, Thank, you. Was served. <laughs> Thank you. Take care, guys. But... Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Hi, Casey. How are you doing? Oh, fantastic. What about yourself? Oh, we're doing great. So Thank good. you. Yeah, so much for taking your time with us on the show. Uh, like we kind of mentioned in the beginning, my name is Shabazz. And I'm Daniel. Uh, what's, what's great watching this first episode, Casey, just going right into it. My first name is Daniel, and my last name is actually Siddiqui. So... Okay. It was a bit of a roller coaster for us watching this first episode of the show. Yeah, you it guys, was wild. Yeah, you guys died. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, not 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 a great together. way to start the night. To we be died honest. together. Yeah, yeah. Like a, yeah. A combination. You you both gave up. I guess half of yourselves. It's true. It's true. And we were just wondering, like, why why, why did you base it off of us, and why did you kill us? Yeah. No checks came our way either. No, so. none. Nothing. None. Well, well, the good thing is. I have nothing to do with your debts. I am <laughs> solving your debts. So you should be happy right now. And um, maybe, I don't know, cutting me a check. <laughs> oh, shit. there you go. That's, that's true. It turned around on us. It did see my turned around on way. Us, you did. Right? You spun that really quickly. That is, that's good detective work right there. Yes. <laughs> Yes. What we what we loved so much about this show was, you know, just seeing Toronto finally getting to be Toronto. Yeah. And we're so awesome. It was so awesome to see that. But we're curious, like for yourself, what was so important about getting to show the city and what we, did you want to really emphasize and show off about Toronto? Well, I mean, uh, Toronto is a beautiful city, number one. And I think uh, there's also a lot of uh, misconceptions about Canada on a whole. And uh, if we want to narrow it down, maybe even Toronto. So I think we can put a lot of that to sleep uh, by showing the city and showing so many different parts, not the usual parts that people, you know, from all over the world will know. Just like when, if we go to France, oh, the Eiffel Tower, like we know, <laughs> right? That's the only, that's about all we know. And um, so, you know, we're, we're really going into the inner workings of the city. And uh, I think that is important. I think it's important to 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 show that, and uh, I you know my whole thing is I'm looking forward to additional episodes, uh, additional seasons, so that we can show off more and more and more of the city. You know, absolutely, hundred percent. A lot to show. Yeah, now, a murder during TIFF wouldn't be uh, too bad of an idea. Yeah, you can only show off the city. <laughs> right. Yeah, a lot of potential there. Now we're just pitching yeah. ideas. Now now we're we're, we're going to get some more checks clear. To be honest, oh, I'm, it's too late. I already stole it. <laughs> You stole it. Yeah, it's gone. Casey, for yourself, you know, like this is 
this is a massive series. Like Law and Order is known all around the world. What did it mean to you to now, you know, leave your mark on a series like this? Um, well, I haven't left it yet. Um, I'm hoping to leave it because right now we're just at season one, and um, I, I mean, the original we're looking at what 23 seasons or something, something crazy like that. Um, so I am hoping to leave a mark, definitely. And um, yeah, it's a massive, massive franchise. It's a massive. Uh, you know, legacy and um, uh, honestly, just being a part of it, it didn't, it took a while to kick in. And I think it's really when the press stuff started to hit, it's like, oh, yeah, this is a big deal for, for, you know, for, for a lot of people um, c coming from, you know, the first ones and, and some people just being exposed to the newer versions. It's just a big deal for people. So um, I, I'm honored. I say all that to say I'm honored. We love that. We love that. We, we absolutely love that. And uh, you guys do know this is a TV show, though, right? Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure the movie podcast. Knew that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. I so there's more checking. episodes coming. Okay, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really short movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah nice. I'm like, oh, I'm like, wow. There's just so much more that's development fun. that we can do. <laughs> but no, we're, we're, when we're talking about more episodes, we're so curious for yourself. Well, what is an episode that you are most looking forward to? Um, I think the, uh, without giving away, uh, you know, the, the sort of the synopsis or anything like that, but, um, the, I, I think I'll just say the episode number. Yeah. Like, okay. I, I think number nine. I'm looking forward Ooh. to number nine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll mark it on our calendars. Marking. You know, we're. We're, we're excited, honestly, like it, it's so cool seeing a show set here and like knowing that there's so many like Canadians behind the scenes making it all happen too. So Casey, we're just so grateful for your time. We're excited to see how your character develops and see how you leave your mark on the series. So uh -huh. we're definitely going to see it. I appreciate that. Thanks to both of you. No problem. Take Thank care. Thank you. Half dead man. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what we're always called. I get it. Thank you. All right. Take care.